Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, like always. It is Sunday, which means I'm continuing with my Madonna music video journey. And we finally made it. We finally made it to her Confessions on a Dance Floor era from 2005, 15 years ago. And in today's video, we'll be checking out Hung Up. Now, before we get into the music video, I do want to say that I do recall seeing parts of this music video before, way back when, in 2005, when I was a teenager. I remember watching parts of this music video on Much Music. Now, for those of you who don't know, Much Music is essentially the Canadian version of MTV. Um, so I do remember parts of it. But to be honest, there is quite a bit of the music video that I actually don't recall. So, in ways, I kind of know what's gonna happen in this video, but other ways, I don't. So. It's gonna be a nice refresher. So enough talking, let's get into the music video for Hung Up. All coming back to me. Gonna ass. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I can totally do that. <laughs> Not. <laughs> or maybe I could. I don't know. When I'm waiting for the bus, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> oh wow. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So much fun. That's me right now. <laughs> I love, 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 love that music video. Wow. Definitely take me back. It's all coming back to me now. And this is this is a great music video from Madonna, and it's also a great comeback for her after her American Life era. She's going back to her dad's roots, and it's remarkable. It's... I can't praise this music video enough. I can't praise the song enough. They go hand in hand. It's great. You know what? This is probably one of my favorite Madonna music videos 
ever. Now, I loved the part of Madonna in the studio, in the dad's studio. Um, she was contorting her body, she was stretching, doing all sorts of sexy things, but my favorite parts of the music video were the everyday people dancing on counters and in the streets, at the bus stops, at the club, downtown, and those were my favorite parts, just seeing all the people dancing. Can we also comment on the pink leotard? I mean, what an iconic look for Madonna. Madonna has had so many iconic looks through the 80s and 90s. This is definitely, I feel like, her most iconic look from the 2000s. Correct me if I'm wrong. It says here that the video portrays Madonna clad in a pink leotard dancing alone in a ballet studio and concludes at a gaming parlor. Oh, okay. Okay, it was a gaming parlor. I thought it was just some sort of club where there just happened to be a game. I don't know. A gaming parlor. I've never heard of a gaming parlor before. Is that like a fancy word for an arcade? I don't know. Um, where she dances with her backup troupe. Interspersed are scenes of people displaying their dancing skills in a variety of settings. I would, I would love to learn how to dance one day. I was never interested in dancing, to be honest with you, up until I started watching these music videos from Madonna and Jack Jackson. I just, I would love to learn some choreography one day. You know, I, I feel like I could maybe be a little bit good at it. I don't know, maybe I would fail, but I think I would be somewhat decent at it with enough training and experience, I guess. I just want to be able to dance good enough so that I look good when I'm dancing. I don't know, at the bar or some sort of function that I'm at, a wedding function or, I don't know, waiting for the bus or on the street. I just break out dancing and just move on to the street and stop traffic. I can only dream. And I also want to say that what I also love about watching music videos is that more often than not, you get to live out your fantasies. You get to live out things that you potentially will never be able to do ever in your life. Now, Hung Up was a major, major success for Madonna. Hung Up became a global commercial success, peaking atop the charts of 41 countries and earning a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. It was Madonna's 36th top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100, tied her with Elvis Presley as the artist with most top 10 hits. It also became the most successful dance song of the decade in the 2000s in the United States. Hug Up remains one of the best-selling singles of all time, with sales of over 9 million copies worldwide. I mean, this is an artist more than 20 years into her career, and she crafts a song like Hug Up, which ends up becoming one of her best songs and best-selling songs of all time. I mean, how many musicians can do that? You know what? I'm actually very curious now. So if you guys could let me know if this happened to any other artist or musician out there, did they release a song 20 years, 30 years into their career and it became one of their best songs of all time? Another artist that comes to mind is Cher with Believe, but that's all I can really think of right now. I mean, talk about longevity. When Cher released Believe, which was, what, 40 years into her career? 40 or 50 years? It says here that the music video is a tribute to John Travolta, which I didn't know about, and his moves, and to dad scene in general. I definitely want to keep talking about the music video, but I feel like I've said everything I wanted to, so... I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So what did you guys think of the music video? Maybe you don't love this music video as much as me, which is okay, but I adore this music video. And what do you think of the song? Again, maybe you're not the biggest fan of Hung Up, which you're definitely in the minority if you think that way. I will say though, even though I love Hung Up, there is a song from her Confessions on the Dad's Floor era that I love even more, and that's Sorry. Yes, if I had to choose between Hung Up and Sorry, for me, Sorry has to take the cake. I don't know what it is about that song, 
but I just find myself gravitating towards Sori more than I do Hung Up. Now, I actually didn't know that Sori is a continuation of Hung Up. I've never seen the music video for Sori before, and one would think that I would include Sori in this video. It would make sense, but I don't know. I kind of want to save Sori for its separate video. I think that would be a better approach for me anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do in my next Madonna video. I'll be checking out the music video for Sorry released in 2006. So look out for that video next week and thanks for watching guys. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can message me, you can tell me other artists I should check out. I'm open to ARs from any decade. You can find me on Apple Music, you can check out my playlist and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.